Yes, I know it's been a long time since I put up a video, but I just didn't want to put up a video just to put up a video. I wanted to do something, you know, helpful uh, to people and, you know, document what I'm doing. I look at uh, so much good content on YouTube, and I didn't have that when I was younger. If I did, God, who knows? I'd probably be even more random than I already am. My, my ADD is just, uh, just off all the way it is. But it's real helpful to look at videos, and uh, I just wanted to make something that may help somebody, and I hope it does. So, I don't want to ramble. I'm working on an engine test stand. Uh, as you see in the description, made from a Harbor Freight engine stand. $59, I think it was. And I plan to do this for under $200, uh, you know, minus the gas, the uh, fuel tank, and, you know, battery and this and that. But uh, just the metal I put into it. So far, it's been under $200, so have a look. Got a radiator out of uh, another project. And uh, so, you know, I've just kind of gathered some parts here and there and, uh, and used those. But let's see. Let's see what we can see here. There is a... Um, yeah, my dogs. This is the, the Harbor Freight engine test stand. And you can see... Um, basically where it stops and um where it ends and where my where i've worked on the test stand and, and the rest of it i've added to the metal um i've had to uh extend out the corners just a little bit and i'll get a piece of metal so we can look at that real quick to what i did <laughs> i don't have a shop still so i'm working out of this little little shed they call it a dairy if you live up here it's called a dairy but uh, let's see here, what I did here is uh, extended these out, I just took a little piece here and uh, you know, fit that inside. This is uh, inch and three quarters, it almost fits inside the two inch stock here that the, uh, the Harbor Freight stand is made of. Um, it doesn't quite go in, so I've just I've had to cut the sides and just make it some relief cuts. Tap that in there, weddled it, and I was able to, uh, of course, put a cross face on here and then extend the stand out. I'll get you the measurements here and um, draw up a little uh, little hand drawn uh, plan of uh, of what I've done. But you can see the uh, uh, the cross member up in here. Everything's going to be adjustable. Sorry for the noise. Bang, bang, bang. Well, these just place it on here. So you just kind of slide these back and forth, you know, wherever you need them at. I've got several different engines I, I want to build and uh, put on the sand. One's a uh, Chevy, small block Chevy, which I'll get on there soon. And the other one's a Ford, small block. The, um, I also want to build a big block. So here is uh, my uprights, and they are adjustable. Take a look at those, slide them on here. swivel back and forth here I don't uh, I think that's gonna be held up pretty well I don't think there's that's gonna be a problem I've just used some spare metal like I said for what I had laying around and I've actually used some leftover metal from um, from what I cut off the uh, the test stand and um, put different casters on it these are little bitty casters um, they do swivel 360 and they do lock down the casters that came off this yeah the, uh, Harbor Freight stand. These were just, uh, I just cut these off. These were back here in the back here, somewhere in here. But they didn't swivel, the front ones did. Uh, so let's see, let's take a look at everything else. This uh, tube here, like I said, it's an inch and three quarters. Um, just got some release on the inside of it. Pushed it in there, uh, welded the end. Uh, Made a uh, made my brackets here. I'll go around the front here. Just made a vertical bracket here for the radiator. Uh, one for the other side. Pull this thing around. Uh, put a little cross brace here uh, across the uh, the radiator. A um, little bracket for my electric fuel pump. Battery bracket. Right there. Of course, I'll get it tied down and put that on. Uh, fuel tank. 
that's a uh, three gallon fuel tank, 100 bucks off of eBay. Uh, radio, like I said, I already had. We'll take a look at the panel here in a second. Um, what else here? Oh, yeah. All right. So, um, that's going to be my main uh, 12 volt junction. Uh, running off the battery so I can run all the power um, from this up to the panel. And we'll swing around here and look at the panel. Just a piece of aluminum I had laying around. I had a heck of a time cutting the same because my uh, my hole cutters were dull. It wouldn't cut through it, so I had to kind of chop and cut away the best I could. But uh, you know, I'm not a professional, and I don't. You know, this thing isn't going to be uh, you know advertised for sale as a professional build. Of course, uh, you know, it's just for me. Um, let's see. I got. Uh, let me see here. I got uh, temperature. Uh, oil pressure gauge, amps, little little cheapo tack, my switches I put here, uh, power, uh, fuel pump, um, radiator fans, um, the fans I got off of eBay. These are uh, 12 inches each, 12 inches across. So I just put two of those together, and I've yet to wire everything up because I'm waiting on my switches, which have taken forever to come in. Just little toggle switches. And I think that's really about it. I've got to, I'm gonna get the engine here and um, get my Chevy out here and put it on, and then uh, make some uh, brackets there for the engine mounts. So that's what I'll do next. So we'll go. Yeah, we'll go out here real quick. We'll take a look at this while I'm at it. Hello, Jet Troublemaker. <laughs> the reason I did this. I wish I would have done this before because I bought a uh, short block 350. It was already built, supposedly rebuilt. And then, uh, of course, I drop it in the car just to test run it. And I got water pouring out of a freeze plug. And the freeze plug just happens to be right under the, under the engine mount. So, um, so I pull this out and I will never build or do anything else with an engine, a motor, or whatever you want to call it until I put it on a run stand, but this is a 350. Uh, some nice aluminum heads, nice little carb. It's got uh, 64 uh, CC chambers on the aluminum heads. Aluminum heads are the, I guess the Japanese or Chinese, whatever, NGK or NJKs. Uh, we'll see how they work out. You know, I'm not uh, you know, trying to build something for the street. It's just for the strip rather. It's uh, just going to be a little street uh, 350. It's actually not going to go in this. It's going to go into a scout. Uh, angle plugs. Um, let's see. It's ready to yank out. So hopefully I'll get this thing on um, the stand. And the uh, next video I'll do, I'll fire it up. And we'll see how everything finishes up and how it mounts on the stand. So thanks for watching. And uh, hit that like and subscribe button if you will. Sorry I haven't posted in so long, but like I said, I just wanted to make a video that, uh, you know, may be useful to somebody. So hopefully I'll post another video uh, next Sunday, and uh, we'll see if this thing will run. Thanks for watching. Later.